Jeff Bezos had become one of the most successful billionaires in the world when a biographer walked into his biological father's house and asked him about his son. The man, a bicycle repairman in Arizona, didn't know who Jeff Bezos was or what Amazon was. He was amazed at the economic empire his son had built. My dad, my dad is my real dad, not my biological dad. His name is Mike. He's a Cuban immigrant. Miguel Ángel Bezos, or Mike Bezos, was only 16 years old when he landed in the United States in 1962. The Cuban traveled from Havana as part of the Pedro Pan plan, an operation coordinated by the CIA and the Catholic Church to receive 14,000 Cuban children. Mike was alone, with his suitcase, an empty passport, and couldn't speak English. He spent the first three weeks in a refugee camp. He didn't see his family for years. However, he pushed forward, learned the language, and studied. He eventually earned a scholarship to the University of Albuquerque, where he met Jackie, a single mother who had given birth to her son, Jeff Bezos, at age 17. Jackie, too, had struggled. She had been discriminated against at school for being a young mother. But who is Jeff's biological father? Ted Jorgensen, a humble bicycle repairman from Phoenix, Arizona, had lifelong regrets about abandoning his son when he was a teenager and working as a circus performer. At the time, Ted also worked in a supermarket, and that's precisely where he saw his son for the last time. On a cold afternoon when Jeff and his mother stopped by to say hello, that was the last hug he gave his son, an image he could never forget. Big mistake. But at the time, I thought it was the best. Ted passed away in 2015 without ever meeting his son or getting the chance to apologize. Although he tried to communicate with him, Jeff never showed any interest in meeting. Si tú fuiste abandonado, eh, si tus padres no tuvieron otra opción que darte en adopción, si tus padres no lograron, por ejemplo, darte una crianza adecuada, sin duda se puede construir un resentimiento hacia, hacia esa persona. Lo importante es que hay que preguntarse allí hacia dónde tú has conducido ese resentimiento, porque se va a expresar en tu relación humana. For Jeff, his father is Mike, who adopted him when he was four years old. Mike Bezos is vice president of the foundation and works side by side with Jeff in all the decisions he makes for Amazon, the company that led him to be the richest man in the world and have a fortune of about $140 billion. Si usted hace un descubrimiento que altera la vida de 8000 millones de personas, la dimensión y el valor de su descubrimiento es extraordinario. Nunca pensé iba a alcanzar la dimensión que alcanzó. Yo creo que transformó la de las sociedades, o sea... Mike taught his children to help out and educate people. That's why Mark Bezos, Jeff's brother, dedicated his life to firefighting and humanitarian aid. The reason why Jeff doesn't forget his roots, and one of the reasons that led him to adopt a daughter. You get different gifts in life, and one of the great gifts I got is my mom and dad. 